All right, so what you're looking at here is a map view in Japan of a Buddhist temple called Ryoanji. It's just outside of Kyoto. And what we want to really focus on here is that this is an example of using the solar resource in a way that uh, is old, it is actually but very traditional, and uh, has, has a, a really high value to a group of people. So this is, a, this is actually a temple. Um, and if I go in here, I should be able to uh, show you that the, nope, I cannot. There we go. I should be able to show you that, that in this map, right, we've got here a direction that is south, all right? So we're in the northern hemisphere, this is south. That means that this whole white space is a great area uh, for reflecting the sun's light, and it will actually reflect the sun's light into the space just to the north. That space is actually going to be an area for uh, uh, working, writing, copying uh, down uh, what we would call sutras. And it's very interesting because you have a white surface that is directing visible light into that space. And in doing so, you're actually avoiding using fuel to provide the lighting. That actually improves air quality. And you are avoiding the cost of that fuel in the process of doing this. Now if we look at the image of Rio Anji here, here's that, it, that rock garden. So close up, you're starting to see something that you recognize, at least from popular culture, which are these calming Zen rock gardens. The interesting thing here is that the rock garden itself is very functional. Again, it is going to be bouncing light into the space where people are working so they get much better light. In addition, think about it, white objects do not absorb light so uh, by the very nature of their reflecting light. So you have an area that is not going to be warmed up during the day. And in fact, this is a very bright area and it's going to remain somewhat cool. You're going to create a microclimate of cool air and then you have walls. And the walls are there to contain that cool stored air. I mean, if, if the walls were not there, the air would just uh, sink and flow away from the cool area. So you're containing and storing this cool thermal energy that in, in addition is connected to the space that we're seeing right in here. It's connected to this space. There's open doors through here. So you've got cool air coming in and you're seeing that uh, this is one way to use solar energy for some very high functional use. And if we go again back to the Zen rock garden, uh, this, is, this is the same garden, uh, you notice that there are rake imprints. And there's this classic idea of, of, of uh, Zen monks raking this in a meditative process, right? Uh, we even sell small sandboxes with little miniature rocks and rakes to simulate a rock garden. But the actual value of this rock garden is very functional. And so when you rake those rocks, what you're actually doing is removing leaves. You're removing any growing moss or lichens on those rocks. You're maintaining the brilliance of those rocks as a good reflector. And so the process of raking is actually, again, functional to maintaining your solar reflection device, which you're seeing here. Uh, at Rio Anji.